Brandon, first action in a Cavs jersey. What did it feel like out there? Um, it felt fun. Um, you know, just thankful, thankful to God that uh, um, that I had a chance to just to go out there and play. Um, you know, been through a lot, uh, but I'm feeling great. So just to put the Cavs uniform on and go out there with my teammates and uh, to you know to be in battle, um, it was great. So I was just happy about that. Uh, have you ever gone perfect from the field before? Uh, I think I've been close, uh, but I, I don't think I've been perfect. But uh, I think I've been maybe one shot off or something like that. But uh, um, it's it's great to go into a game and not miss. You know, <laughs> who doesn't want to go into a game and do that? How big was Larry Drew's support throughout this time um, since you've gotten here? Oh, big. Um, like I said, me and LD have a great relationship um, from our first go around in Milwaukee, and um, he was nothing but supportive then, and um, we've kept in touch. And you know, I always make sure I. Um, pay homage to him when I see him, and uh, you know he's been in the league a long time, so uh, he's seen a lot of basketball, has a lot of respect, um, and so like I said, he uh, he's been supportive my entire time in the NBA. Brandon, um, obviously you've been sidelined for a while. You missed all of last season. Yeah. Uh, only 12 games this year, kind of ironic. The last one you played before today was the right, 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 right. Does it just does it feel good to just kind of like start to knock the rust off a little bit, starting to feel a little more confident? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I think that's going to be a big part of the transition, just uh, knocking the rust off. And, and getting back to playing, um, getting back to trying to be myself, um, getting comfortable. Like I said, I feel great. Um, my, my knee feels good. My body feels good. So now it's just about getting the rhythm and, and getting those reps in. Like you said, I've been off for a long time. So as of my rhythm get, gets back and my reps get back, uh, I'm confident in being that same player I used to be. Are you able to be so locked in and not having played for a month? Because I, I, in Houston, I was kind of just waiting, 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 waiting. I was healthy and I was waiting. So every day I was locked in, just waiting for my opportunity. Um, you know, in the NBA, it's about taking advantage of your opportunity. So um, being locked in there, waiting, 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 um, once I got here, kind of just transferred over. And uh, like I said, I just want to take advantage of the opportunity. So the relationship you have with Larry Drew, I mean, how much of that entered your mind, you know, when you first found out that you were coming to Cleveland? Um, I didn't think much about it, but, you know, once I started to connect the dots, I'm like, wow, me and LD were together, you know, and we did have a great relationship. So all that, um, it definitely helped and made the transition a, a lot easier, a lot smoother for me. Um, also having former teammates here on the team, and uh, a lot of these guys I played against for a long time and, uh, you know, had relationships with as well, and that made it, like I said, an, uh, an easy transition. I don't know if you uh, want to go all the way back to 2011 every after you know the Cavs they had two top five picks. There. Right, 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 right. Two top five picks that year. Uh, right. Was there a point when you like, thought that you were eventually going to be a Cavalier? Or? Uh, I can't say I, I thought that. Um, you know, you guys had some some great draft picks. Tristan is still here. Um, he, I think he was in my he was in that draft, that number four. Um, of course, Kyrie one, so I thought those guys would, you know, be here. You know, you're 19 years old. You're thinking guys are going to get to a team and be there forever. Uh, that's not how it works anymore. So, uh, like I said, I didn't have that in mind, but, you know, it's funny how things work out, and like I said, I'm happy to be here.